Get mm -hmm. your money up. Let's bet. Bet good. This is the Smash and Dash Podcast. Smash and Dash Podcast. Yes, sir. What's up, man? This is the Smash and Dash Podcast. I'm Chris Johnson. I'm Linda White. I'm Chris Johnson. Welcome back to another episode Smash and Dash Betting Podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, Smash. Got my dog with me as always. As you can see, we might have a few raindrops on us, but you know, no matter hail, sleet, rain, snow, blizzard, or hurricane, we got to give y'all these betting props. Clearly, I got twin with me. What's going on, brother? Man, just chilling here, waiting for that storm to pass by. You know, we staying in it. We yeah. all good, but you know, it's happening here in Florida, Orlando, Tampa, whatever, but it's football, college football, NFL football, yeah. all around the world. We still got to get these picks out. We still got to. So, now, if you in the surrounding area, Central Florida or Florida in general, man, I, I advise y'all to, you know, take caution and be, you know, safe out there for sure, man. This, you know, they always say that it, it can be crazy. We don't know how crazy it is until you win it. So, you know, I would just say take precautions regardless. Like my twin said, we got to get straight into this stuff, man. Thursday night football. It's TNF. Hey, you know what's crazy? Both these teams are coming off some disappointing losses, man. I thought Gino almost had it at the end of that game when he, when you, uh, JSN, you know how he did the, the, the that was a, a high IQ play, how he ran and took two defenders with him. Gino mm -hmm. could run down the sideline before the game, before the dude missed the field goal, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but you know, the, the, the 49ers really haven't looked like themselves in a sense because they, they be struggling and down with their kicker going down. Man. I'm not sure how they'll bounce back. They have been favored on the road twice this year, heavily favored twice this year on on the road. But you know, they're going into the Seahawks. It's hard to play at the 12. Right. Are you think they are in dying, dying or dire need of Christian McCaffrey right I, now? I can't say that. Um, that Mason, Mason, I think that you just gotta get your players to make plays when it's time to make those certain plays, man. It's it's like they're one play away. I can't blame them for their their kicker being down. Obviously, you, you know your kicker down, you can't really do much about that. But I can't – I don't know, 14 for 89, 6.4 carry. Shh. Mason's doing his thing. It's not like yeah, – he, he, you doing, know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's doing his thing, but I – They're probably missing, watching a couple they're missing of those, him in the re receiving game. That too, but uh, I've watched a couple of those games, and some of those ones that he come out of there and – I feel McCaffrey would have went Teddy. Dog ain't got that extra gear to get it done. So that's why I would say mm. that um, home run hit type of plays that McCaffrey ran, I would say that they're missing that. But at the same time, um, Seahawks have looked terrible in the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good game. It's a um, division game. Yeah. You know, we love these division games, and it's Thursday night football. I'm going bang, bang, Niner game. Yeah, Niners minus three and a half. Bang, bang, Niner game. I'm going Niners. I got to take the Niners, man. I just like Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. On the early, I mean, on the quick week for him to be able to bounce back. I think, I'm not saying the Seahawks don't understand, like, how, like, crucial this game is, but I know the, the, the 49ers know they, they got to get a win and if they want to try to even get close to repeating at the, what they did last year. So I'm just taking the Niners with just better coaching right now. Where's this game at? This is – Yeah, they in the 12. They going to Seattle. They going to the 12. Yeah. 12, God. Whew. I'm going to have to take the Niners in this one too. I know Debo back. He's getting in his groove. Yeah. Or whatever like that. I'm I'm going Niners. I'm gonna take Niners at minus three and a half. And then um the total is forty seven and a half. I like that to go over. I think Thursday night football, um Yeah. I think they're gonna put up some points this prime time. Yeah. So yeah, I think they're gonna put up some points. I take the over as well. You taking game. the over in that? Yeah. We wanna give a huge special shout out to Caesar Sportsbook. Smash and Dash has a special offer for you new Caesar Sportsbook customers. Use promo code SMASHING-1000 and get your first bet back up to $1,000 as a bonus bet if you lose your first bet. Take a look at the graphic below for all terms and conditions and always bet responsibly. Okay. We got the next game. Yeah. We got our guy, Lamar. Eugene. 
Jackson. You dig? Yes, yeah, sir. So we got Lamar Ravens versus the Commanders. They got the Ravens at minus six and a half. Ooh. And the type of type of ball Lamar been playing, he been I, playing some ball. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But both quarterbacks, yes. um, Jaden been Eugene. playing some ball too. Jaden Eugene Daniels as of right Listen, now. Listen, this might be the hey, this <laughs> oh, might this be the, the, be the battle of you the, know the battle of the Eugenes. Battle of the Eugenes. I don't know if Eugene. I can Eugene them yet. Oh, I can't you. The way he can't been... Eugene him yet. All right, Lamar Eugene is a Eugene for a reason. Two time MVP, you right? Right, you can't Eugene him yet. All right, I, if he beats, I, I, if he beats, go... if he beat Lamar, is he a Eugene? Nah, I gotta. I can't. I don't think you get the Eugene that early until the rookie of the year. You gotta, yeah, you got a rookie of the year for you. Eugene. Well, he's second going into the second year. That's when you get classified as Eugene. Okay, going he's on into the right the second track, year. Um, Ravens had a huge comeback. Um, Ah oh, man, this 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 is a battle. Um, I'm pretty sure Jaden probably looks up to Lamar sure. being a young black quarterback playing against another black quarterback who's yeah. two time MVP, um, and those type of things. Um, right now they got yeah Ravens minus six and a half. I know who, who I'm taking? taking. I'm taking Lamar Eugene Jackson. Lamar Eugene Jackson. Yeah, I have to man. He just bro. Like, what's up with um? With our guy, bro. Um, what's up with our guy? Tight end, bro. Like Andrews, oh, Mark bro. Andrew. Well, Mark likely Andrews. they got likely when likely. Yeah, but no, likely this last game was his first game back, like where he actually did something. Before then, he didn't. He did something. Week one disappeared. Now, well, Andrew, bro, bro, Andrews a, a a left tackle at this point. Andrews might be, bro. He probably was hurt. You know how they be trying to hide you in certain stuff. What you mean? That? He might was hurt when? I don't know. Was he hurt from last year, or they no, like was he's he trying to get back healthy? healthy now, man. He's you been, know how they say, they say that, but sometimes you don't be all the way healthy, and you know that, bro. So they bro, hide you in the offense, bro. Man, I, that man and likely, healthy. likely when you see likely out there doing what he's doing, that man hey, healthy can't. man. They got that man. They got bro. They bro. Oh, they well. even got the. The you know third how I go. Tight end coming in, getting more catches. I guess, man. Yeah, he's not healthy. He he's, makes sense. He's a, he has. He can block. Time. He can definitely block. He can't. I don't know, man. I I, I wonder. I, I'm with you. I wonder. But what I can tell you is, I know that right now he ain't making the plays that likely is. And when when, when Lamar back there throwing to that boy, it's like every time you need a big play, likely is the guy that they, coming out of nowhere making a play, man. So I'm taking the Ravens minus six and a half. Well, you know what. I, I want the. I, I'm gonna take Ravens money line. I don't like the six and a half in this game, man. I'm just. I just don't like the six and a half. I don't like it. Mm. Just the way the Commanders have been playing. This would be a really good statement game for Jaden. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see how he, you know, fares against one of these like true high powered defenses. You know what I'm saying? And, and going into Baltimore is a different type of you know stadium. So we gonna see. Right. I'm gonna take the Ravens minus six and a half, and okay. I'm gonna take. The total is 51 and a half. Ooh. I'm going to take the under on that. The under. The under is looking very enticing right there, only because I know how people get. Like, if Lamar and them get up early, boy, you know they're going to run. You got to see them. <laughs> and Derrick Henry, I should, yeah, I'm going to probably make a, I'm going a, I'm to a lock of the week. Derrick Henry will score another touchdown this week. He's going to, they, they, I see them feeding him for a touchdown. They like giving him touchdowns. Did he score last week? Yes. Derrick Henry scores every week, man. Yeah. Derrick Henry scores. Yeah, so I'll take the money line with the Ravens. I'm going to take – who? dang. Hmm. I like the under for real, man, but I just see something very late with the – I'm going to take the over. I can't go with you on there, one, man. I ain't on that. Yeah, I take the over. Go with your move. I got to go with my moves. And I can tell you who I'm not going with again. The <laughs> Cowgirls, man. <laughs> Listen. I'm sorry, but I've seen how they played all like that. It wasn't like, bro, listen, Dak, until you redo your Dougie, I already told you, bro, and you were struggling that whole – bro, they were struggling. It's not like they came out and destroyed those, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, it was a real – it was a bang out. And I, the Steelers, you know what I'm saying? Like they had a chance at the end to win that game. So I can't – I ain't going for it, man. But they, they got the Cowgirls heading into my Lions, and they got my Lions at minus three. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we already said the Steelers win. I don't really believe that the Steelers still look good to me. They, I think Russ is coming sooner than later. Guarantee that. Um, the Lions have a bye week, and I think Dan Campbell, like I said, he's just he's a great coach, man. 
And and Dallas hasn't covered yet this season. So if you have won anything yet, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I already said my Lions. Lions minus three. Yeah, I'm taking the Lions. Ah, uh, lock of the week. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a great lock of the week. Huh? Lock of the week. Cowboys money line. <laughs> Cowboys money line. Lock of the week. Ride with your boy. And another lock of the week. They got it at 52. It's going over. Ride with your boy. If you want to parlay that, take Cowboys money line and take the over. Cowboys and Lions. Take the over. It's at 52. I respect that. Mm. I'm taking the over too, but I'm just taking the Lions. I just think the Lions have a better team right now. Hey. And I don't know where the Cowboys are going to cover all those receivers. That's And the run game, yeah, man. Uh, I see it being a long day for Dallas. That's just what I. That's just me. Mm. I'm glad you. Cowboys, didn't. not girls. Cowboys, lock of the week, money hey, line. Hey, remember cowgirl fans? He was calling them cowgirls a couple Never. weeks ago. <laughs> Never. Nick, if you have a clip of him saying cowgirls, please run it in. Never. Please. Now, Chargers, L.A. Chargers, Broncos. Oh yeah. Ah right, man, Broncos is playing some defense, yes. boy. Yes. Chargers coming off a of bye week, so hopefully, um, hopefully our guy's healthy. Um, what's your boy? Um, you talking about the quarterback? Yes. I can't think of uh, uh, Herbert. Herbert. Just, Herbert. Just right Justin there. Herbert. Yeah. yeah. Chargers is coming off a of bye week, so hopefully Justin Herbert is back healthy or feeling a lot better. Hopefully he's over 80, 90%. But um, you got him coming back off of the bye week. Well, he's already been back, but hopefully he's a, he's a little healthier. Um, Broncos have won three straight games, though. Yeah. Sean Payton and Bo Nix had a heated exchange. What What do you th- got to think? What you think about that? Football. You know how, like, you got to think that Sean Payton thinks he is out there on the field. So sometimes he's probably telling you, like, why didn't you do this? And he's like, you know, as a running back, we probably never played quarterback, but we understand, like, a, a, a running back could be on, or a running back coach would be on the sideline, like, talking about, why didn't you see this? And then you, they'll go get the other film and he'll be like, oh, I see what you saw. And it's like, yeah, like, you got to relax. I know what you thought you saw. And like you when still Armand photo. told me I got to hit the hole. Hey, bro, <laughs> leave Armand out of that, boy, because when Armand got that ball, boy, I seen how he used to hit the hole, man. <laughs> hey, you a wild boy for that, hey. <laughs> Shout out my boy Mai, yeah, man. Yeah, Mighty man. Mighty, hey, Mighty, you wild man. as hell, man. My oh, boy Mai. But yeah, man, I'm I just like I, I can't even lie, man. I like the way the Broncos have been playing defense. Me too. It kind of reminds me of one of those old school teams where, man, they're gonna play defense. Yeah. And then they just gonna the offense gonna slowly get it downfield and put up points. Yeah. They're not one of these teams that's trying to you know, go crazy like and wild. score wild points yeah. and all that. They just want to score enough points to win and let their defense play defense. And I can't lie, I like what well, I know you've seen Patrick yeah, Sertain. Yeah. yeah, that PC. I like the way they play defense. So I got to go. I'm going. Uh, they, oh, man. They got the Chargers yeah, minus three. I I, I, Another lock of the week. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Broncos money line. Yes, sir. Broncos money line. They got it at 35 and a half. Yeah, I'm taking the Broncos too. I think the Broncos find a way to win this game, especially at home. The Broncos are different at home. And like you said, Patrick Sertain's playing yeah. lights out. They got 35, 35 and a half. Yeah, that's that's, that's kind of low. But it's super you know, low. That's, 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 that's how Chargers are – Chargers, not Chargers, I'm tripping. The Broncos. That's how Broncos are playing but See, that's right what now. I'm saying, TK. If we're if we being honest, I like the Broncos in that situation. Just seeing how their defense is playing – off of both of these games with the Jets, and then um, last week um, shutting down whoever they played last week. But that's what the but that's what type of things happen when you give the quarterback all the money, you get rid of Austin Eckler, oh yeah, you get rid of Mike our, Williams, Mike Williams, Keenan. you get rid of Keenan Allen, yeah. and you feel like he do it. They used to be an offense that was high power and yeah. put up points. And they ain't been putting up no points. Yeah. And they're playing right into the Broncos style of game that they want to play. So I'm going to take the under in that game. I'm going to take, ooh, that is stupid, dog. That's, bro, that's 25 15. I mean, 25, yeah, 25 10, rather. I'm just like, how do you not? Bro, the game was like, even last yeah, night, the game was like 16 13 at some point. I like, know, bro. Dang. 
The Broncos are going to come alive. I'm going to take the over. And they probably go, they'll probably score 38 points this week. It won't mm. be high. It won't be much over this total, but I'm going to go over. I'm taking the Broncos and I'm taking the over in this one. Man. Monday night football. Oh, yeah. And this is, the, bro, how crazy is the league? They fired my man Robert Sala today, which I think is a horrible firing. I'm going to just be honest. I got to say it. I don't know who. You can't blame him for what Aaron Rodgers is doing out there. Maybe you can. What is A Rod? A Rod just like the the way from what I've been hearing and like reports, like A Rod doesn't like motions. He likes his offense set up a certain way. He likes you know quick slants, like quick dingers. You know what I'm saying? But like the way the new NFL is, like people moving people around. You are trying to get your mismatch. You know what I'm saying? And so is Dog. Uh, is he the offensive minded coach or defensive minded? Coach? I think he's defensive minded, but okay. they hired the OC because of I think he had ties to. Aaron Rodgers. And you know, when you do shit like that, you basically putting yourself at risk. So um, yeah, they fired his ass, man. Um I you heard they wouldn't even let, they they wouldn't let him go um yeah. have a meeting rude. with the team or anything. They escorted him out of the building. That's some bullshit. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy how they like you man. I can't even have a last meeting with the team, but that's how you know it's some Yeah, it's always some BS. You think A Rod got him out of there? I don't know, but I mean, listen, if you want to- Hey, we're not here for I don't knows. I, What's your thought? I think it's somebody in that building with some power. No. And I ain't talking about- like No, 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 no. Hey, that's- That's T. See, that's, hey, hey that's, sometimes you got to catch you a man, because sometimes you ask questions, they like to go Duck. around it. You saying I'm Now ducking? we trying to go right there to it. I asked right, him a I'm question. Asking, right. I asked him a question. He's talking, oh, it had to be somebody in the building with some power. No, did A-Rod get him fired? Bro, I like that firing. No, uh. I'm just saying. I think it was it was the writing was on the wall. No, went, did he get him fired or no? Though? No, it wasn't a right. Hell no, the record got him fired. Okay, what happened was like, listen, you can't have a rod with with the defense that you have, and the and have the record that you have in New York and expect to be sitting around there. No, you you the expectations in New York is so high that you can't come out there like that. But this this is first year with a rod. No, that has, got hurt last that year. has not, it's New York. I'm just saying. Young, I understand we know that. how that we know so how a rod ain't do it. No, nah, a rod ain't do it, man. And, the and, and speculations and, out there saying he did. So I, I ain't mad at it. There always is some speculation, and if he did. A-Rod, you better turn it around because, bro, they will not be hiring your ass again after this season if you keep playing the way you playing. Now, they have the Bills at minus two. I know I think, somewhere we would take A-Rod at. Yeah, I know, I, I know what I'm- places that Oh, they're going to take A-Rod because you'll you take A-Rod on a, on, a, on a, I don't know, a bad Achilles and a couple bad calf muscles over a lot of these quarterbacks anyway. But the way he's playing, I ain't taking him. Okay. They got but, Bills minus two. And again- I'm gonna take him in this game. <laughs> Why? <What>? After <laughs> because after firing a coach and after getting his fire coach, as you stated, because you said he got his fire his coach fired, right? <laughs> hey, so I if he got it, his coach fired, boy, you gotta step up and do something. So I think that he, you know, he he upsets the Bills, especially on Monday night football, man, at, at home in front of the in front of that New York crowd. Oh man. I think they I can't give lie to cheer about. Man, listen. Bills came out three and zero. Josh Allen was looking like an MVP favorite. The last two weeks, oh, no. he ain't been he ain't been Josh Allen in and, and, and. <laughs> he ain't been looking like an MVP player at all at in the last all. two weeks. Oh my gosh, you took uh, you like I like Jets. I like the Jets. I'm gonna go. I'm I, I think this is the week that he turned around. I like Bills at minus two. They have the. Uh, they have the over at 41 and a half. Another thing that I seen that was kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> what's your boy receiver? Garrett Wilson. Wilson. Garrett Wilson, bro. Garrett Wilson had like, at one point in the game, <laughs> Garrett Wilson had like nine catches for like like 62 yards. Now you see, but it goes back. If you rewind what I just told yeah. you, I'm like, Aaron Rodgers no, likes quick hitters. I'm thinking nine, ten kids. You got to be over. Oh 100. no, that's what we're saying about Aaron Rodgers. Hey, that means you ain't got no after the after the catch. Yeah, no. I that, need you to run. Or you set me up. If you if if everything's in front of you and you throwing a quick five yard hit, you come on, bro. bro Sometimes I, need, bro, I at, get that. I need something man, after no. the catch now. I Let get me get nine, a three yard go me, out. Yeah, give me nine catches, boy. Who? Yeah, I don't know. Yes, yeah, I know. Young, but you better go watch them games. That's why they're talking about. That's why they're talking about the offense. 
Ain't no him just talking man, shit. Man, it's three I'm yard looking. slants. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah. We it, see what it, OBJ I did with it. I, I, who? OBJ. Yeah, especially <laughs> when it's one on one. Not when you're in zone and you're running a slant and you got to, and when there's 11 people, you, you run a hey, slant. That sounds crazy. Anyway, we're we going to see. What what A Rod could do? Maybe he opens I'm the take, offense. Well, up. yeah, I'm taking. I ain't. I'm taking the Bills at minus I'm two. And the, it's forty one and a half. Um, I'm gonna take the over on that. I'm going. I'm going over two. Mm. And I yeah. tell you who I'm not taking. Whew. They got this next game up. I am clearly. I'm a front <laughs> runner. I told y'all that at the beginning of this show. Penn State, USC. I like to win. <laughs> So they have my Trojans, and I'm gonna go ahead and say my Trojans, right? Hey, that be your lock of the week. No, nah, they got Penn State. <laughs> right they got Penn State heading in to my USC Trojans, and they got Penn State at minus five and a half. I tell you, I'm not taking the Trojans. Can it be your lock of the week? You can be yours. No, you you're good. already I got, got two locks. So I'm just not, not taking them. I'm taking Penn State money line. We fight really good in games. We fight good. We fight really good, bro. But when it's time to win, like. I don't know what happens. It's like something happens at the end of these games every year where it's like we haven't had a, a, a real game where we can like re- lay our head on. You know what I'm saying? Pause. And, and one thing for certain, two things for sure, playing in three straight national championships is myself. I can't keep going with this shit, man. So I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going with Penn State. Hey, they got Penn State undefeated with a top five ranked oh, defense so in the nation. Oh, so you don't even want to go to it. And USC coming off a letdown. I'm going Penn State. I ain't got to go back and forth with it. I'm going Penn State, and I'm going over. It's that simple. Penn State and over. Was, the, was it really a letdown, though? Yeah, it was a letdown. I'm sure okay. it was a letdown. In, in, in everybody's mind, everybody knows that was a letdown. Minnesota's not a team that USC was supposed to lose to. Like, it's just not a team you're supposed to lose to. Like, P.J. Fleck, we met him. Remember, we met him in Vegas. I told you that. I'm sure he just – he kept his job for another year just because of that win. Like, Minnesota hasn't done shit in years but one beat USC. That's what they going to hold their head on. Hey, at least it went like – so, can we – is that like – There's no se- – <laughs> No, listen. Where in the hell do you – like, you ain't no such thing. Bro, if you lose, you lose. You can't hold your head on no fucking loss. No, I'm not saying Isn't that. Oh, y'all lost by the end no, of the game. No, I'm by- not saying that. What I'm saying is, can you compare this loss for USC? Can you compare this with Bama Vanderbilt? No. Hell no. No? Okay. Not even All right. close. Okay, okay. Vanderbilt ain't beat Bama in 80 years. I'm just saying. They probably haven't beat y'all in 80 years. We ain't never played them, first of all. And okay. then secondly, I mean, we probably did play them, but what I'm guessing, I don't know what the, what the record is. It's not. It's probably close to tired than anything. But what I can tell you is when Nick Saban's on there and he's telling you it's a home game and it's not a hard place to play and then they go out there and get beat like that, man, come on. Well, Everybody and their mama knew for certain that Alabama would win that game somehow, well, some way. Even the people on, Van, on Vanderbilt team was like, yeah, we just going to go out here and try real hard and hopefully we come up with a victory. So am I hearing this? You officially off the USC train. I'm all, yeah, as far as Ben with the hell, yeah, ain't no way in hell. I can't do it. Y'all sleep. Man, please. All right, no, I'm no taking, listen, I'm no taking sir. Penn State minus five and a half, yeah. and I'm taking the over at 50. I'm with him. <laughs> I told you, money line Penn State, and I'm taking the over. You <laughs> take over. Okay, they got Ole Miss, LSU. I think this is going to be a shootout. I think so too. That's going to be look real good. See, that's what I'm saying. We beat them. They yeah. still, like, bro, we out of pocket. They rebounded versus South Carolina last week. Ole Miss two and on the road, on the road f- as favorites this season. LSU four and one, but one and four against the spread. Ooh. I know who I'm going. That's sixty three is hot, but I like it. And it ain't. It ain't get, oh, I it ain't wait, go Tigers. I can't wait to prop bet this week. I, I know it's gonna be a lot tigers. of passing yards. I'm not going to go Tigers. You ain't going to go I'm Tigers? I'm going Jackson Eugene Dart to have a Heisman mode. Mm. Like, this is what big time games is about. Yes, they had a slip up, but you can see in this conference right now, we know this for certain because we just knew Georgia was going to be good. We knew Alabama was going to be like that. We just knew that, right? Both have losses, as do Ole Miss. Mm. But now we honestly can say that there's going to be like a three-way hunt. And if LSU ends up beating them, like, you got – this is going to be a bang out at the end. Like I don't right. just see no dominant team in the SEC, but if if Ole Miss finds a way to beat you know LSU, then they come out like as probably one of the top teams in the SEC right now. So I'm just taking Lane Kiffin. Okay. I think Lane Kiffin knows how 
how crucial this game is and how much he he has to like like how much he has to win this man like this is a big game for them especially if they want to be in that top 12 at the end of the year okay well hey to my fellow ecu teammate joe sloan i'm riding with you man i'm going lsu go tigers i'm going lsu I'm taking LSU is that on a that. Lot? I'm going LSU. All right. The total is 63 and a half. Bang out. I'm going it's over. Gonna be, it's going to be a bang out. Uh, I'm taking the over in that one as well. I'm going over. Taking LSU in the over. I love I love it, man. I love points being scored. I'm going over as well. Mm-hmm. And probably the game of the week as we This game this, of the week? Definitely got to be the game of the week. They got, is they really that good? Yes. Oregon. Man, just because of the return and starters they have, and they always get a quarterback. They took Oklahoma's quarterback. A couple years before that, they took Bo Nix from Ole Miss. They just they take an older quarterback and put them with these like younger athletes, man. And Dan, Who is, like, where, where, where Dylan from? OU. He went from oh, Oklahoma. Oh, he went Oklahoma to yeah, over there. Okay. To, yeah. And then, you know, the couple years before that, they had Bo Nix from Ole Miss. So that's right. Like they take an older quarterback, Dylan. I think he's been playing for like five, six years, dog. He's like, he's one, he should know what's going on. But, um, like, they got Ohio State. They're ranked number two, man. I hate to say it, but my I, Buckeyes. Who's, the, who, who's number one? Um, probably, I don't know, Texas, maybe? Bro, it's nobody. I, I don't get it. It's oh no! no oh, oh yeah, it is a new week. I wonder who is number is one. Is no Let's... one playing better than Ohio State right now? From they got, bro. You know what? You did you watch the game? What do, do you know what their nickname is? Who, who? the running backs? Smashing, smashing dash. dash. That's what they've been calling them. Yes, that, that's the Ohio State running back's nickname. They've been calling them Smashing Dash from TV. Hey, we need to call them, man. This is copyright infringement. Yeah, they got Texas ranked number one, man. They've been calling them Smashing Dash, but they've been doing their thing, and they got and their receivers are just been balling out of this world. Like they have by far the the and, and what's crazy is the oldest receivers. Like they have older receivers that are definitely gonna get drafted high, like really high, right? But the coldest dude is the freshman, Jeremiah Smith. Like it's ridiculous yes. the amount of plays that, and I'm I'm that's a lock of the week. He'll score a touchdown this week. If you were out there, if you could put something out there, go put your money on Jeremiah Smith making a huge play. And listen, him making the plays in these type of games right. will put him on top of the Heisman board list because th- there's two freshmen that that definitely should be probably in New York at the end of the year. If we're talking about Heisman, and that's the Ryan Williams kid from Alabama because he's balling regardless how you look at it. And then you got to look at Jeremiah Smith, the way they're putting up on, you know, these stats on these, you know, players when there should be seniors in high school is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm, well, Ohio State got 15 returning starters, yeah, man. I'm taking that's Ohio weird. State. I'm taking my Buckeyes, man. I never yeah. thought in a million this years I was saying my Buckeyes. This is an easy one. And I'm like, saying that because of that run wanna, game. If you want to – if you want a lock of the week or for sure lock win, I ain't saying it's gonna be easy because Oregon is ranked number three. I and that's ah, they and that's the only thing I can honestly say too. Ohio State ain't really been battle tested neither. Like every game yeah. I've seen them play, like it's like they just out there like doing their thing. And I wonder if Oregon is gonna be that team to step up and everybody ah. gave everybody's here he goes, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel it. I know something's coming on. Pause. Uh-oh. They said Oregon was going to win a natty at the end of the year. There's a lot of people, a lot of people said Oregon would win a natty. And they're at home, man. Autzen, hey, Autzen Stadium is a hard place to play, dog. Whew. I'm taking or I'm taking Oregon to cover. I'm taking Oregon to cover. I'm taking Oregon to cover. Oregon State, I mean Oregon State, Ohio State will probably win by one point. One point. So you going... Oregon. Yeah, to Oregon to not to lose by three. They'll probably lose by one or two points. Okay, I'm taking Ohio State. Okay. I'm taking Ohio State, and then the over is 53 and a half. I'm taking the over in that as well. I'm taking the over, too. I'm, I'm definitely taking, taking the over. Yeah. Hey, I got one question for you, though, before we get out of here. Yes, sir. I know it's our betting show. Um, I just want your thoughts on – the kid, I don't even know his name. I just know his number. Um, 
Number 13 from oh, Bama, how from, he acted. From Well, see, that's the thing. When You you got to think. They get a lot of these five-star players that have never lost in their life, man. They, they You know what I'm saying? You come in, you just had a big win. You're supposed to win this game against Vandy, and you crash out. Now, I honestly believe, did he go too far? For sure. But as a young kid, I've seen people do crazier shit in the NFL, and you're, you're an adult when you get to the NFL and you still crash out. You know what I'm saying? So I... I believe in second chances. Yes, they should do something right now, obviously. But, you know, he he has a, such a microscope on him right now that it's going to be such a crazy thin line that he has to, you know, walk before teams start to believe back in who he is as a football player. Kicking the ball, you know, doing all that, pushing the quarterback, just going the extra. And, and not coming off the field. Yeah. All of that. Do you – what do you feel like his punishment should be? Because if you're thinking about it, we're talking about we're talking about a, a school where Nick Saban just left, yeah. and we know Nick Saban ain't going for none of that. Yeah, he well, just left, so it's like a lot of people is is watching. So I feel I feel like their hands are tied. They have to do something. Yeah, you should spend it for think? a game. Yeah. That's all you really can yeah. do. People mess up. Now, if he shows behavior like that, like he, what I said, like he put himself now in a situation where he has to walk this line. Nobody else has to make a decision for him. If he's in them games and he does that again, he's going to make it so easy for the world to be like, oh, we know why you're kicked off the team. Like, yeah, but right, now I ain't saying he should be kicked off the I'm team. Saying, I'm no, just but saying what I'm saying should happen. Yeah, like, you get his, you get sus was, yeah, suspended for one game. You come back, if any of those antics, if I see any close to them antics, you'll know why the kid's in the transfer portal or why he has to sit. You'll understand. The whole world's going to know why because they've seen what you've done. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not hard to – it's not hard as a coach to to put, like, a boundary on a kid or, like, you know, put something on a kid in a sense to be like, this is how I need you to act when the whole world is watching you as well. It's like a, they're waiting for you to do that one little thing. They're going to be like, oh, there he goes again. Look at him. Coach gave him a chance. He needs to be gone. That's for all them kids. It's like even the right. cornerback from that left, um, the cornerback that, and I'm not saying I'm getting away from the, the, the like being aggressive on the field, but it's like the quarterback from CU with, with um, Dion, the, the McCorney kid, and went to Florida. Corner. Every, yeah, every day everybody's like watching him. You know what I mean? Like you leave there, they want to see. Like they're gonna have eyes on you. It's like you couldn't last there, then why aren't you lasting here, mm. bro? People are watching exactly what that kid's doing. They seen him go from. Probably a super time, big time, you know, playmaker to an ultimate crash out. And everybody's like, look at this dude. He's so many memes. He's on the internet. He knows that. So if he he needs to bounce back, if there's anything he could do, he's it's self reflection. So we talking about Bama guy. Yeah, right? the Bama guy. So do you do you do you think do you think his draft stock dropped from that? I don't know. I think so. I don't think so. Young, I just know how like life. Bro, if because like you could say that now, but then he comes back and what if he has an amazing seven games, goes to the combines and has like like bro, we know how this shit works. Like yes, he probably had a moment, but it's like bro, again, there's a coach out there. There's some type of if he if he balls the way he like capable of doing. Like man, we know how this goes. I've seen people, man, some of that stuff means absolutely nothing when they know they're getting a beast in the like you know what I'm saying. They feel like they can control that on that level. Maybe not. Maybe you just giving a crash out way more money to crash out. But right. I, obviously, you got to give a man a second chance. I mean, if he proves you this, the second time that, that he can do it, I mean, if he if he does the same thing the second time, then you obviously know what you have in your hand. But if he can bounce back, I mean, because I've also seen Nick Saban and what he was coaching and preaching, you know, pregame of that show, like – He's a real coach, so like he's gonna grab that kid and see what's angering him, what's bothering him, and get to the bottom of it to try to help that kid get through it. Like Nick Saban has already expressed that he don't just leave you out in the grass or out in the cold when when you mess up. Like everybody deserves a second chance. Right, so right, right. I, he definitely yeah. deserves a second chance for sure. Yeah. I believe in second chances and, and all that. Just from my perspective, like I know his draft stock drop from that, and especially on national TV is showing, and I don't know what really all the way happened if it was because they lost or whatever it was like yeah. that but you know I was watching a play where he shoot he gave up a deep touchdown right and he probably can't handle losing or whatever it is but just off my knowledge and me seeing things for so long and how the football world works yeah for sure I think his his draft stop dropped but at the end of the day he is still just like a guy like honey badger he's still gonna get 
in the league. If he's a good player, he's right. still going to get in the league and he's still going to have a chance to show his talent, get to his second, third, fourth contract, right. and still make a lot of money. Like That's just one of those bumps in the road, and I hope younger players see this and learn from this and just understand it's always a microscope to things. You know what I'm saying? It's always a microscope. Oh, you, it's mean, Everybody's always watching, especially when you're on national TV. It's like, shoot, shoot. you know they watching. The yeah. honest guy never lies, man. Never. So you got to do that. It's been a great uh, episode of the Smash and Dash Betting Podcast, man. Hopefully we win y'all some more cash. You did. Yes, sir.